Yes, this visit is going to be very significant. Why it's significant? Because after taking over reins of the country in his hands, this is the first time the Prime Minister will be uh, visiting Jammu and Kashmir. And this time, he is, as you rightly said, that uh, 1,800 crore will be spent on the competitive improvement in agriculture and allied sector. Besides this, um, he will also lay the foundation stone of 84 other projects, which will include colleges. Not only that, he is also going to start industrial estate. And besides this, he is also going to distribute employment letter to uh, many of those job seekers. Uh, so, uh, overall, what actually he's going to do, he's going to strike an emotional chord with the youngsters. This time, his target is the youth. That's why he's today, when he'll be reaching Srinagar, he'll be uh, entering SKICC, uh, that is uh, Kashmir International Convention Center. After that, he'll be interacting with the youngsters, young achiever. Because we have seen in recent past that how Pakistan and Pak proxy, they have been trying to indoctrinate and brainwash young minds and lure them to gun culture. He will be talking to achievers this way. He'll be sending a message to other people also, because they are the real heroes, they are the one who are not only going to empower themselves, but they are also going to transform Jammu and Kashmir. Already we have seen the Naya Jammu and Kashmir is in making after abrogation of Article 370. He is trying to lay emphasis on how character building is really very important for the nation building. So he will be interacting with them, talking to them. And that way he will be trying to channelize their energy in the right direction, also trying to tell them. Because uh, you are the important stakeholder. Because Prime Minister has made it clear from day one that they will neither be interacting with Pakistan because uh, talks and terror can't go together. Neither there will be any kind of a dialogue with separatist element as used to happen in past. So they are going to have a dialogue only with the youth, the main stakeholder, people of Kashmir Valley, because that way they are going to uh, bridge that gap between the Delhi and the uh, Dil of Kashmir. So Delhi and Dilki Duri will end once you are going to have similar kind of a interaction, dialogue process. That's what actually the Prime Minister is going to do. Then day after, on 21st, on the banks of Jalik, he will be uh, performing several asanas of yoga and people from different parts of the world will be connecting uh, with that and uh, youth here will also be connected online in different parts of Jammu and Kashmir too. See, by performing asanas, because Prime Minister has got a global appeal, when you are performing asanas at a time when already we have seen back-to-back -back terror attacks have taken place where terrorists are trying to demolish that narrative of normalcy that had picked up momentum, especially after uh, uh, the bumper turnout during the recently held Lok Sabha election where a large number of people came towards polling booth and they broke all records of four decades where we saw 60% polling uh, in Baramula, 60% almost in Anantnag, that is considered to hub of terror. Now, when Prime Minister is coming over to this place, he is going to set a new narrative where he is trying to uh, tell people that all is well in Jammu and Kashmir. Don't go by what actually Pakistan and Pak proxies are trying to tell you because they will always try to paint a gloomy picture. And he is uh, by performing asanas on the banks of Dal Lake, he is further inviting the tourists to come out to this place. That means this will give flip to the tourism sector, this will uh, give boom to economy, and this is also going to bring smile on the faces of Kashmir Valley because they have suffered a lot and people have a lot many expectations we have been interacting with the youngsters also, they have a lot many extra, um, uh, expectations from the Prime Minister also so, so there is a lot of enthusiasm that they will are waiting for Prime Minister to come out to this place so that they can have an interaction session and many other students will be connected online in different colleges and universities so that they can listen to what Prime Minister has to say from Kashmir Valley.